welcome to the Elimination Season 4. Would you believe it? <laughs> Funny people are going head to head. And here's your host, Bob. <laughs> uh, I digress. Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> welcome to. Uh, You're not Bob. <laughs> welcome to Series 4. Series 110. <laughs> yeah, Series 4, Episode. Eight. Go on, you've got a good memory. Did you know that? Oh, I'm reading them off. Uh, my name's Dave, and with me I have my cousin, or my, or cu- just cousin Paulie. Yeah, hello. <laughs> and an empty chair. Oh. And wifey. Hi. <laughs> bit of a, well, that was a bit high, wasn't it? <laughs> bit of a strange old line-up today, oh, isn't it? Mind you, we've done it before, haven't we, with the we music? We have, yes. I think we better get words in edgeways, haven't we, without them yeah, two around. Yeah, people can hear us. Yeah. The ones. yeah we won't be... Slammed down. So it's Friday night and uh, we got planned for the weekend, Pauline. Well, I'm a bit depressed. Oh dear. I What's am going depressed. On? I actually am depressed. This isn't a joke, is it? I don't know. Is actually, it? <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're talking about? <laughs> well, you know, my car. Oh, oh your mum's car. Having a slow dying death. I have to keep pulling over, turning the engine off, turning it back on again for it to go back into gear because mm-hmm. it's automatic. So I finally got to say goodbye to it. Was meant to go car shopping last weekend. Why is this sad for you? Because it was my mum's car. Oh, I'm see. very attached. It's more than my, more than a car. It's my family. Mm. That sounds. I know that's a loony. It's thing in your DNA, say. isn't it? It's in it your is, DNA. It is. Yeah. I just don't want to see it drive off. So last weekend, Chris fell down the stairs. This is your brother. As my brother. So Lewis. He fell down the stairs. Yes. Vodka. Well, that's was what it, I was said. Was it a this vodka, is, vodka the, based fall, was it? This is the story I was told. Okay. I was walking down the stairs and one of Liam's toys. Mm, yeah. Of course it was. On a, on a Saturday night. He plays with bottles of vodka, does he? <laughs> was on the stairs and he slipped, falling down, really hurt his back. So he couldn't come up, which is fair enough. So I said to Lewis Sunday, Lewis, can we go out and look at some cars just to see what I can get for my money? And then if there is anything... You know, I can speak to Chris, he can come down next weekend, whatever. Hangover from hell, the boy had. Oh. So it was. It just wasn't worth taking. You could see he hated every second of every... It looked painful. Yeah, he hated every second of every minute of it. Yeah, mm. and it looked painful. In the end, I went, oh, come on, let's just go home. Oh, I don't mind looking at some more. <laughs> looking like... Oh, he's trying to be so brave. Was white, absolutely white. Don't worry about it. Which is fair enough, he's been out Saturday night, so so I'm going this weekend, I'm looking at two Fiestas, a KA, don't know what I think about KA, mm-hmm. but 1.2, cheap to run, mm-hmm. so. And on, on this weekend away, would you, would you letting anyone down at all? You know, you may... Two people. Oh, yeah, who are they then? Well, you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's brush <laughs> past that. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend Nikki, I was meant to be seeing her on Sunday. Oh. But if I don't see anything Saturday, then we're going to come up this area. we go on Auto Trader and look for some Chris's coming up. We've got to get a car this weekend. Yeah, well, we should probably say that Chris is a mechanic and he's probably the best person to be with Oh, yeah, that's why he's an OT yeah. tester and yeah. he's a mechanic, so, so that's it, why... I, he won't have you buying rubbish. No, I need him with me. Yeah. Dad, I was talking to Dad on the phone. Dad went to me, ah, so I just go on your own. Yeah, oh, no, not a good oh, idea. Oh, You'll come back with awesome car, won't with you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what do I know? Then you started going on about shut and cut, shut and cut. What is that? Shut and it's where they have an accident. Shut no. and cut no more and all this. I don't know what he was talking no, about. No, it's like putting two cars together, isn't it? He is old, your dad, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, ancient, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, His Luke. first car was a black Austin 7, I'm told. Is that true? What do you mean no, you're told? No. <laughs> I was going to say, how do you know that? What was his first car that you were aware of? Um, you know Steve's? Uh, he, had, uh, he had the Mini, but I think, I'm not quite sure. If, uh, he had, uh, I, 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 I was, remember the Mini. I was with him when he bought um, an old um, Hillman Minx, I think. He had a Hillman Hunter. Cause mm-hmm. I, now, this is awful. When I was a kid oh, at school, <laughs> so when I was at school, I used to get really embarrassed to pretend that weren't our car, even though it's parked directly outside our house. <laughs> Because everyone else's cars, family cars, were normal cars. That's, I've gone and done the same with an old car. But Dad's, this old Hillman Hunter, but he used to say, no, it runs, runs all right, it runs good. I'll tell you what he had, I think. I think he had um, 
I don't know if it's a console, a Zephyr, or um, they all look the same to me, but um, the one with the big three-seater at the front. I think I know what you and mean. I think, yeah, 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 I think, yeah, one of them. But it's like my car knew, because the minute I decided, do you know what? Because it was Bob, talking to Bob, that made me think, yeah, it is about time I got a new one. The minute I decided and made the final decision, it plays up. It's been fine. Is your one going to be scrapped? You won't get nothing on it, will you? Oh, no. Just scrap money, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. somebody will take it for parts. If it's an yeah. older car, there could be <gasps> some value gonna in it. So you're not going to gonna get it off a dealer where you trade it in? Well, I will trade it in if they will. But will they trade it in? That's another thing, because I'm so honest. If they say to me, yeah, it's your car, I think so. Are you as honest as the day is long? She is. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, I've got thin in the face today. Do I? I've lost yeah, £18 now. Yeah, £18 does. down, I have. Oh, yeah. £19. She's yeah. Not lost that rosy glow. Yeah. She's more sort of I sucked thought, in. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I really looking thinner in the yeah. face? Yeah, definitely. Look, look. You're all right, don't be waving them things about. <laughs> no, my arms are bent. <laughs> oh, right, my arms okay. are bent, we know that. Yeah. They're, me they're bent in the wrong direction, aren't they? Yeah, like nineteen pound down now since Christmas. Taken a long time. It's not. Yeah, no, but it's the slower you lose it, the longer it stays off. It's about a pound a week, isn't it? Probably. It's the end of June, yeah. six months, isn't it? That'd be twenty six weeks. I don't do it at weekends. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> weekends weekends off. I don't. <laughs> she lost nineteen pound in the midweek, and then put twenty yeah, pound on him on the weekend. But Monday to Friday, I count my calories. The weekends don't bother. If I want to take away a wheel, if like. Yeah, but then I think that's probably the best way to do it because yeah. otherwise you get really bored with it and you give and up all together. Yeah. Oh, you made my day saying that. Oh. I was quite chubby in the face, wasn't I? No. You bloody liar. You know you want to <laughs> no, tell me. Your you headphones are. fit you better now, don't they? <laughs> they, were, they were stretched to the limit before. She's rolling me out of it. It's getting that bad. <laughs> oh. No, it was. It was getting a bit out of control. I had to put a stop to it. You and know I'm it just was, Jack. Stop no, being nice. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is don't go too far. Don't go stupid and look ill, because some people do. Some people, a bit of weight on them, yeah. saying no names, Dave. No petrol. When he lost a, a lot of weight, trying, everyone kept saying to him, oh, you don't look well, Dave, yeah, you, you look don't Ill. look well. Don't lose oh. any more, you look... Yeah. yeah. So, I'm some people, it doesn't I'm, suit him. I think I'm four stone heavier than I was then. No, oh, it's yeah. more. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> nice. It's, it's yeah. more. We both yeah. went on a diet, didn't we? Because it was our 25th wedding anniversary. I remember we that, to... the Slim Fast diet yeah. that you did, didn't you? It worked really well. Didn't stay off for very long, but for the amount of time that we did it, yeah. it put us into what, where we wanted to be, and then we went away on holiday to celebrate and ate and drank as much as we could possibly do. Came yeah, back weighing right. 44 stone each. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. I've lost weight now, but I'm trying not to do it as a diet. I'm trying to do it as just a, this is how I am, yeah, eat now. just to be careful. Otherwise, when I get to a weight that I'm happy with, if I start eating how I was, it'll all be back on and more. Does that exist, food. though, a weight you're happy with? No, not actually a weight, just a... How you just feel? clothes, yeah. That's all. I just yeah, in the summer, thin. I don't want to feel like I've got to cover my arms, cover me, you know, cover up. I just want to feel comfortable. That's, that's all. Yeah, you'll get there. But you made me feel better, saying I'm thinner in the face. Mm. We got uh, the kids coming over tomorrow. We're going to have uh, a Eurovision night. It's Eurovision Song oh, Contest tomorrow. Yeah. No, we know yeah, it's a load of rubbish, but... Um, Pauline knew all about we that. We invited her, but know, she changed her mind. Yeah, she yeah, yeah you blew us out. Um, yeah, we got, uh, we're going to go for a curry first. We're going to oh. take the kids for a curry. Well, when you sent me that message, I thought it was, I didn't know if you were joking or not, whether you meant, obviously, an Indian, but... No, nah, well, I didn't at first, but then uh, you seem to think the kids didn't like curry. Oh, yeah, I thought, but, I thought Emily but I'll, didn't. I'll, I'll message Fred, and he said, yeah, fine. I said, make sure Emily's okay. And she was. So we're going to go out for a curry... Get the uh, we, we like to get the Eurovision off to a start, so we don't have to put up all the foreign yap. <laughs> you know, when he goes about <laughs> six languages, for, like, it drives you bonkers, doesn't yeah. it? So we give it about an hour or so start, and then we'll sort of get into it, have a few bets. That would be good. But they're saying this year, they've said on the telly the other day, that this is the first year in 25 years that we stand a good chance, not winning, because Ukraine are going to win, aren't they? Well, depends if their song's good enough, really, doesn't it? I mean... <laughs> Have you heard our song? No. no. Oh. Is it awful? Oh. Who's they doing it? Very high-pitched. Who's doing it? A man with long hair right down to here. Oh. Looks like a Viking. Oh. oh. Okay, well, we look forward to that. 
We'll be the judges, won't we? We will. Well, we better mention who their match is this um, uh, episode. <laughs> Andy Sandberg versus Lee Mack. So mm. tell us about Andy Sandberg, probably. Well, up until last week, never heard of the bloke. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Yeah, I really didn't either. even know his name, so obviously I had to go on YouTube and watch a lot of stuff. And there were times he did make me laugh. But really? It was, oh, the only times he really made me laugh, not, ha, not, ha, oh, just a little bit of a... A titter yeah, rather than was a... when he was being interviewed. You know, there was... Who's oh, that yeah. man in America that does the chat show? Jimmy, what's his face? Yeah, Jane. Jane, tell us. She knew. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, is it Fallon? Yeah, Jimmy yeah, Fallon. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was quite a few interviews with him, and they were quite funny. But when I watched him on the stage, I didn't get off the stuff he was talking about. No, I think it's, it's a very, American. It's very American yeah. sort of humour, and and I don't get American humour. If I'm honest, it, it's just and yet American humour works sort of in films, doesn't it? Yeah. When you watch films, well, 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 well not so much now, but going back to the days of Uncle Buck and uh, that sort of stuff. It was great. great. Yeah, but a lot of that humour was visual, wasn't it? No. <laughs> Planes, trains, automobiles, that sort of stuff. Three amigos. Yeah, but Uncle Buck was funny to look at. So like the window it? woman. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it yet? Three amigos? No, not yet. Oh, oh well, you need to see it. You must be the only person in the world. I reckon I mean, no one's seen it. <laughs> We've seen it more than once. And the so boys, I, I think the boys know it word for word. I was going to say... Us three are here Good talking night, about a bloke. Is that in the film? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> People are laughing and it's going straight over yeah. my head. And me and Jack don't know him, so it must have been Bob and Mike that wanted him in. Well, yeah, I mean, I must admit, I've never heard of him. Oh. I don't oh. watch Brooklyn Nine-One, is it? Or Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Something like that. I don't know, there is something like that. But they go crazy about the programme. Mind you, they went crazy about, um, what's the... Uh, Frasier? The comedy uh, Scrubs. Yeah. The American one. Did you watch, did you watch any American comedy, Pauline? Friends. No, comedy. <laughs> Friends is the, is oh, is the best one. Oh, I've okay. watched the best one. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, that's, that's the only thing I've really watched. But I've realised since doing this with you and Bob, I don't watch hardly nothing. You know, every film, every sitcom, well, every... Bob and Michael know they some know films words. word for word. And I, I, how many times must I have watched it? Plus, if I do watch a film, unless I'm in love with it, like The Sound of Music, it's gone out my head in a few weeks. How are they knowing words from films? I don't know. I don't All know. All these years I, later. I, I, I don't get it, but hey ho. At least their memories. But their humour is different to us. They like yeah. all. Um, oh, well, that's the. the what's his name? Wacky fight? stuff. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm glad they're both not here then. Either. Yeah. Ace Ventura and the Mask. Yeah, well, we watched. That. They made us watch Ace Ventura, didn't they? Yeah, and, I mean, and, there's a couple well, of there's a couple of funny bits in it, but you know, it's, it's, it does uh, grind do you? you down. Yeah. The only Jim Carrey one I found a tiny bit funny was well, was funny was Dumb and Dumber. No, I see. But it was more the other one, not Jim Carrey, that made me laugh. Yeah, I mean. I don't, we watched quite a few bits of that bloke on YouTube. There was one where they did the song. I can't remember what the song was now. His friend came out on the stage. Who were we talking about? Andy Sandberg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Came out and sung a song that we all know, and I can't remember for the life of me what it was. And he was, like, commenting in between each He was line. in the audience commenting on the, the film, but the book. The, he the had, book, like, um, the song. he had a blonde wig on with a straight fringe. It was clever, but it just, you know. It wasn't. People but, but they were absolutely wet their... themselves. Yeah, I, mean... I didn't get it. Didn't well, just didn't make me laugh. So it was like I love you so eating, and then he would go, "What you really like?" You know that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Oh, what... I saw that. That on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. But I but didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't laugh. laugh. No, I didn't. It was a what's it song, wasn't it? The bloke with the nose. Yeah. Very mellow. Bar- yeah. Very what was the song? Oh. oh, I can't remember. No, I can't. But it's a real famous song. Yeah, yeah, so famous, none of us remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's funny word. because I, I, I don't really go much on American sitcoms and that now. But I did back when I was growing up. You know, um, the Lucy Show and the, my three sons, What's that one? and later hey. on. 
you. Happy days, Happy yeah, days, that's good. Yeah. Even Morgan Mindu, Nanu Nanu, I've, 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 okay. Perhaps it's because you were a kid then. Yeah, yeah. but there was new was then changed. as well. It was new, wasn't it? We didn't have that much sort well, of... Well, everything was new then. I was a kid, I mean... Well, yeah, but then as you get older, you become a bit more selective, don't you? Yeah, I don't know, I just... Uh, I mean, uh, I can't think of an American stand-up comedian who, who make me laugh. I just can't think of one. No, me neither. I mean, Jackie Mason was big over here, but he just seemed to go on about being Jewish all the time. Bob Oaks used all topical stuff, but that's from topical stuff from the 70s, you know. I wonder if people from America are listening going, what? Yeah. I used to love the old Bob Oak, Bob Green Crosby Road films. I thought they were funny, but I don't know if I find them funny now. Maybe we should watch one. Hmm. Test out the theory. The road to Zanzibar. I'm on the road to Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I wasn't that impressed, if I'm honest. No. But it's a bit unfair on the bloke, isn't it, to be in our thing with us three. You don't know him. Well, and just the luck of the draw. They yeah. should have bloody tell a bomb yeah. can't turn up in Florida. Well, we should have come back for it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Lee Mack, Paul Lee? Oh, I do like Lee Mack. I think Lee Mack's one of the greats. He's absolutely hilarious. I know people who don't like him. When, do I, was, when I was working, yeah, some blokes couldn't stand him. But I thought he was really funny. Oh, I think he's hilarious. And I love, if you ever watch him on um, Would I Lie to You?, how quick he is. Yeah. Things yeah, that you wouldn't yeah. even think are going to be funny and he could find a joke out of nowhere and you'd... And fling it oh, in, Oh, it's yeah. so good. It's just be so unexpected, good. Unexpected, And he it? interacts with the other comics well, yeah. doesn't he? I oh. really like him. Did you... I, I see a clip uh, while I was just sort of researching this. Researching it. People can't <laughs> believe it. But, um, <laughs> when he was at the... Oh, it's only a recent thing anyway. When he's at the awards with the blind fella. Yeah. Did you see oh, that? No, I didn't see oh, that. Oh, it's funny. I can't remember what this is. A blind comic, and I can't remember what his name is. But um, he was doing the awards, reading out, giving a award to someone else. And he says, "Look, I can't see the auto cue. Will you tell me, you know, yeah. what's happening?" So he read out the auto cue, and he repeated it. Then when he done it, he still he, he didn't know when he was talking to him and when he was doing the auto. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, and Lee Mack was sort of no, not yet. That's my one. Oh, he's so funny. <laughs> Do you watch? Um, I like to record it and watch it later in the week. The One Percent Club. I never even know what that is. On a Saturday night, we're the Lee Mac hosts. No, it's all right. Oh my god, it's so up your street. They're probably nearly finished. Watch them on catch up. It's a. It's not really a quiz. You've got a hundred people all in the audience, and he does take the piss out of people. But it's different rhymes and that that you have to sort out. No, a bit like, bit like Richard Oldman. That sort of, is it a bit of a quizzy Yeah, thing? but it gets harder and harder. So the first question will come up, and it's one that 96% of the country knows. So oh, okay. they'll ask everyone, it's the easiest thing in the world, and people give the right answer, and you can't believe it. Sometimes three people got it wrong, and he'll pick them out, and it'll gradually whittle down to the very last question. There could be three people left, and it's the 1% club, only 1% of the 100, whatever, oh, what okay. people were asked. But they're not normal questions, general knowledge. They're hard questions as in... If Mary was walking down the street and she had ten brothers who had six dogs, five cats, what? How many legs? You know, it's them sort of that you've got to right. really think, think about. about it. Yeah. And then when you hear the answer, it's so obvious. You think, "Oh my God, of course it is. I can see it there." But your brain—it's whether your brain works that way. You've got to watch it, Dave. It does. It sounds like watch it them sounds on like your cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. watch them on catch up. I think it sounds like a, maybe giving me a headache because we have it's... seen him twice live. Have yeah. you? Yeah, we saw him uh, first at the uh, Apollo in Hammersmith. Was... I watched one of the YouTube's at Apollo, and uh, another time we saw him local down at Chatham. Mm. He was oh. down there. He couldn't believe there was a place called Strood. He goes, really? Yeah. He was asking them for the audience where they're from, and. Uh, he says, where are you from? He goes, oh, I'm from, I'm here, I'm here from Chatham. He goes, where are you from? Strood. Strood? There's no place called Strood. You couldn't believe Why? it. It's Strood. <laughs> but a lot of people say that about Snodland, because I used to work Snodland. in Snodland. And they just go, where? Snodland. Snod- Snodland. There near, is somewhere called Snodland. Near Ham Hill. <laughs> yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and Halling and Malling. It's weird, it's isn't it? Hauling and Mauling. I don't know if it's West... Is it West Malling or West Malling? No, Malling. Is it West Malling? Yeah, West Malling. I've got a friend who lives in Halling. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Malling. Yeah, You're yeah, all about Halling. That's what they said, Halling and West Malling. And Malling, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, you brought up the old quiz. Let's have a... Quiz! 
<laughs> Nearly missed it there, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> right, no I'm, chance. If right. I can't win against Fico this, Bob, this is, am I going to win against Brady This is Brady unofficial. Jack? This does not count on the list. Oh, oh, what if I win, oh, though? Can on. If it she count? wins it, it should count. Yeah, no. especially since his mic just ain't turned up. It'll yeah. be his own no, fault. No, no, because you can't have it both ways. I can. She can. You're not here. <laughs> All right, so if you lose, it counts as a loss as well, then? No. Well, I'm not sure about that yet. No. <laughs> now, do you want it to count or not? Yes oh, or I no? I don't know. I'll tell you what it is. It's going to be family fortunes. No, because I know I'll right. lose and then I've lost Stephen Moore. Well, you don't know that you're going to lose. 500. I've had a very hard day at work. My brain is fried. Jackie, you're much more intelligent than me. You know you are. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right, I better get a pen and paper and keep some score. Right, Even though you go, couldn't get the headphones on your head. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wet myself and trying to do it. <laughs> Should have filmed it. <laughs> Wish we had. I'm going to let you go first, Pauline. All oh, right, okay. Right. Do we need a pen and pencil? No. No. Okay. Who gets the highest one gets it. I'll tell you, if you get it, top answer, you get two points, all right? All right. Name something a man might wear to disguise himself. Oh, a moustache. Well, I was thinking of, you know, them glasses with the nose and the moustache attached, but I couldn't think what that would be called. So what's your answer? Glasses. Glasses, fifth answer. <sighs> Wifey. I'm going moustache and beard, or beard and moustache. Moustache, <laughs> top answer. You should have oh, stuck with your guts. trusted my gut, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, you've got a gut anymore. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wifey. Yes. Give me a word that rhymes with star. With what? S T A R. Yeah, last time I. Uh, <laughs> it's still S T A R. Give me a word that rhymes with star. Car. Second answer. Oh, you can get this. You can get far. this. Oh, third answer. For God's sake. Bar is the answer. Oh, Pauline, you oh, should have got that have one. So, I'm like Cousin Vix, do I? I always want to worry. Why have you guessed the point? <laughs> Pauline. Yeah. Oh, it's another rhyme. Give me a word that rhymes with wood. Oh, I've got a few. I should probably think so. Yeah, so what one would be? Should. Third answer. Oh, the other one's going to be top. Good. Second answer, another point for Wifey. Oh, what about could? Was that first? It was. Oh, that was the other one in my head. <sighs> Poor Paul. Wifey. Glad to say Name the food you pickle. Oh. Onions. Top answer, Pauline. You're five nil down, girl. Good job you don't thinking, count, didn't it? I was thinking gherkins. I thought gherkin yeah. first of all. Name a quiet pet. Today. <laughs> well, I've got one, but do the people really have them as pets? No, I won't. Rabbit. Rabbit, not on the list. Oh. Wifey, you can steal. I'm going to go. Anyone on the list gets the point. Cat. Third on the list. You know what the answer was? Snake. I was going to say tarantula. I thought... Tarantula. Yeah, well, I thought sound, snakes. They're it? quiet. Mouse, Hamster was mouse, really annoying. Mouse. 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 They, they make they a noise. Squeak. Hamsters are so noisy. Well, I don't know. I not know. Hamster. Hamster. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got cat, didn't you? Right. Yes, love. Wifey. On a computer keyboard, apart from enter, what key is most commonly used? Ooh. Now... Have you ever used a keyboard? <laughs> yeah, every day of my life, it feels like. Um, which? Let's go. Space bar. So another two points. Oh, for God's sake. It's 8 nil. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Paulie, Paulie. Paulie, if I win, I'm going to donate you the win oh, to you. Oh, thank you. comeback starts now. Yeah. Right. Name something you would expect to find on the moon. Craters. Top answer! What else was on there then? Astronauts, rocks, Debris. dust, soil, oh. and a flag. Flag's still oh, up there. Yeah. The good old USA. Blowing in the breeze <laughs> that isn't there. Yeah. That's very true. What are the true. golf balls still up there? 
Yeah, it must be. They want to go digging for them, would they? Yeah, I suppose not. Uh, Wifey, name something you see in a palace. A throne. Second answer. Come oh. on, Paulie. You get a point, yeah? <laughs> Come on, Pauline. Oh, what would be the top? The crown. The queen. The queen. The queen. queen. But, well, she's not in every bloody palace, is no. she? She's only one. I've never seen her when I've been down doing the cleaning at Buckingham <laughs> Palace. Pauline, name something you might find on an island. Sand. Full answer. No. Wifey, cash in. Trees. Second answer. This is, first, this is good. Palm trees. Oh, I was going to say oh. palm trees, but I thought, nah. Just in case it's the Isle of Wight. <laughs> I like the Isle of Wight. Wifey, name mm-hmm. something that is open 24 hours. <laughs> There's a few things coming to mind, but I can't <laughs> say them. Um, open 24 hours. Petrol garage, petrol station. It's the second answer. The off licence. Trust you to say that. No, it's not even on the oh. list. Hospital. Oh, oh, I didn't even yeah. think that my brain That's where you go there. after you've been to I'm the... thinking of alcohol. Thinking of... <laughs> Pauline, <laughs> know his stomach you put sugar in. Your tea. Hey! hey! <laughs> Top answer. White be. Name something associated with ballet. Stroop, he's got no strides on. Remember that for <laughs> Foster's <laughs> Lager. Two, two. Top answer. <sighs> and finally, Pauline. Name something kids learn at nursery. They learn nursery rhymes. Not on the list. What? Anything to do. To count. Numbers. One, two. Counting. Two. Yeah. One point. I worked in the nursery school. Do you know how often, how long during the day we used to do nursery rhymes and singing? <laughs> Bless you, Thank my you. son. On the list. I'm allergic to bad answers. Well, I'm glad that didn't count. <laughs> Final score, <laughs> Pauline four, oh. wifey 14. <laughs> You've been annihilated. Can I donate my win to her so yeah. that she can have one to go? A punishment for my yeah. not turning up. Come on, come oh, on. Dear. Come oh. on. <laughs> The quiz. Is that your yeah. That on, was Dave. embarrassing. Wasn't it? On, Can Dave. I have Jackie's point? No. Oh, oh, why does wicked, he have to stick to the rules wicked, so much? Evil man. You didn't stick to the answers, did you? That was terrible. It, it was wasn't. a warm up. For yeah, now for Matt. the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> She's in a state now. Oh. Do you watch um, Would I Lie to You? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love yeah. it. Yeah. And my favourite um, contestant is, is Bob. your... Oh, Bob I love Mortimer. my Bob. Yeah. But the things he says, you think, well, that has to be a lie. There's no way on earth But he's done some true. very way out But he makes them say yeah, the opposite, yeah. doesn't he? When he said he put an egg in his bath. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And he totally convinced yeah, them that yeah. he puts an egg in his bath. Did you see the one where he said he had Who was it? Fate? Who was it that told him? To put, oh, Chris Rea. Chris Rea Chris 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 said to him, put an egg in your bath. Um, and he put an egg in a bath for Bob. They was all saying, but why did he run a bath for you? And all that. And I can't remember what the answers were, but he convinced them. I he don't convinced know, them. Yeah. But it was a lie. But one of them that was true, and I thought, there is absolutely no way this is true, mm. when he had two fake and decided to take his tooth out. Was, did you hear that one? Yeah. And he was on the... His kitchen table on a gaming chair with a lamp and a mirror and something else, pulling the tooth out. But the story he told, and I thought, who does? Who would be doing this? This is yeah. a load of crap. It's madness, but it's it kind of crazy thing that he'd do. Yeah. We did that once, didn't we? What, pulled your tooth out on the... No, we did it on the door handle. <gasps> no! Yeah. no! I didn't even have kids with a baby teeth. Yeah, but they thought it was great. We sort of tied the door yeah. handle. Oh, sod off. Yeah, he's tied the tooth to it the was already yeah, no, loose. Was the door. Ping. Ping. I would never have let my mum and dad do that. We, we when we were kids, I remember me and Eva were having a sort of like pillar fight, uh, like you do when you, yeah. you know, we had a baby teeth, and she picked up a book and she hit me over the top of the head with this book, and my tooth flew out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I just well, I didn't remember. I forgot it till now. But uh, yeah, weird. But going back to teeth and that, um, is that the, the same one that you lost at the curry? It can be the same two. I can't do the same two twice. Oh, yeah, no, it's a baby two. We were kids. 
I wish I'd been there that night when he lost his. It was uh, absolutely hilarious. I didn't want to laugh. I felt so I sorry felt for him, sorry but for I you couldn't. Too much, I think. No, you would have laughed because I felt sorry for him, but I could not stop myself because Michael was talking about soup. Oh, he's soup. funny when he does that. <laughs> and Amy was there. He's. Girlfriend yeah. at the time, and she was absolutely. She was trying to hold it in, but she couldn't. And none of us, because every time he smiled, oh, <laughs> it's no. big. not that I much to smile about. I've lost oh. one of my front teeth. So, so you just want to go home. Yeah. Well, I read. I was very careful when I took the tooth and I put it in a little pot of milk, because they say it can keep it alive longer. And he took it back to the dentist with him, didn't you? Yeah, they're much good though. No. Lucky you got an emergency appointment. It didn't fall out. It snapped. Yeah. yeah. I mean, where, he wasn't, where, wasn't even eating the, anything. What the hell was in the in, The remainder in the of the tooth was still there at the top, inside, you know what I mean? The root and that. Yeah. And half the tooth. It snapped. No, well, no, yeah, you, you couldn't could, see you could it. See oh, it. Right, right where the tooth shows That's is where... That makes it, it even harder, don't it, for them to sort it out? Well, I think she drilled in and put the uh, screw the other one in, into that. But, yeah... He kept, all he kept saying was, oh, I've had that too for how long? Six years. Six years. Oh. He felt really... It weren't like, <laughs> I lost a, it weren't like I lost a crown. It was an actual tooth. Tooth, a live tooth. It must have been badly. It must Over the years, it's just got weaker and weaker and the curry was just... What did you to, have in your curry? To be, nothing. Curry's all soft. Yeah, liquid. Exactly. Yeah, well, I told you a story, didn't I, where we've been for a, not the same curry house. We went to another one in town. And Bob got a bit of gravel. Oh, you did, yeah. And he he nearly broke a tooth on this bit of gravel. And when when the first thing I'm eating away, chatting away, having a laugh and that, you know, the next minute, what the hell was? And you, the I'm first thing I got here was this bit, I got a bit of gravel, and we're like yeah. Bob, a big bit of gravel. I went like Sally, this great big hole about three foot. It seems like <laughs> about three foot square, <laughs> doesn't it? Is that in my mouth, what the bloody hell? And then he sort and of I, put it into... I said, are you, you put your hand up. And yeah. I said, are you all right? And he went, hmm. Just shook his head and put his hand up. And then... When, I think he was worried uh, thinking, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I did. I thought he was having a heart attack. Because he just stopped. And it's not like him when there's a carrot in front of him. <laughs> you know what I mean? He must have discussed this about about seven oh, different yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah. People that old story. <laughs> yeah, that, old, yeah. that old chestnut. <laughs> but getting back to the tea, when I was at, uh, when I was at work, and going back about 15 years... Where this old Yorkshire bloke called Keith, and I came out the office, and he had, he had his, his hand and a pair of pliers, and he goes, uh, "Yeah, dear, that won't be bothering me anymore." And he looks at this this big old brown oh. tooth, all blood and sinews hanging off the end of it, oh. and he's he's pulled it out of a pair of dirty old I pliers. Don't know anyone could do that. My, my friend, who sadly has passed away, Kathy, she she would never go to the dentist, absolutely petrified of the dentist. And she, one day, she was, you know, the face was out here. She was in absolute agony. So she went, oh, I want to get home tonight. The pliers are coming out. I'm going to take that out. I said, you can't do that. You anyway, know, she came in the following day, smiled. It had gone. Yeah, you go. I don't hurt anymore. What? Oh, I, I just, I just <laughs> couldn't be able to do it. Is, is, they're nothing to be scared of now, are they? I mean, back in when I was a kid, yeah, the old yeah. Uh, belt sky ran, the fast one, the slow one now, and the injections, you know. But yeah, now you, you just don't, don't, you don't feel no, them, do you? Well, I had, I had a horrendous dentist story, didn't I, when I had a tooth removed and it all went very horribly wrong and he ended up splitting my lip and was sewing my lip up without any anaesthetic. I was holding that nurse's that hand. Like he a, heard a me scream. He heard you. I'm, I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, not scared I heard of this him. yelp. Okay, a normal bloke wasn't there. Somebody else. And somebody else. It's back. Not this dentist we are now, but two dentists ago. And uh, yeah, I heard this yelp. And, and the, re- oh, the receptionist and me sort of looked at each other. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Well, and he split your lip mm. and sewed it up. Yeah. You got compensation for that, didn't you? Yeah. I went and I'm got I, I came out like I'd done a round with Tyson. Oh, and the yeah. lip was four God. times its normal. I came out crying and I said, I just want to go. It was awful, absolutely awful. Have you been to a dentist since? Been well, too scared the to thing you? is, he had done a, such a bad job on it, he'd left all the root exposed. <gasps> he hadn't even taken it. So I had to go to hospital, be knocked out for them to take the root and the bit. I wonder I, if he's still working. I don't know. I can't remember what his name was, but I can still see him. But um, that I right. felt sorry for the dental nurse that was holding my hand. I nearly ripped her arm, <laughs> her arm off his chin. Plus, why didn't he numb your lip before he sewed it up? Don't know. Didn't. Just sat there and sewed it all. And I knew it was bleeding because I could taste it. 
You know, you can't yeah. help it, but it just felt like my face was four yards ahead of where I should have been. It should have been. And uh, I knew when I come out, he, he sort of, oh, you know, you could tell by the expression on his face, blimey. me. Went him to have a tooth out and come out like the elephant man. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Absolutely did. <laughs> It was horrendous. So oh, God, that sounds I, that, like a nightmare. I've never had a fear of dentists, but I have got a bit of one now since that. Well, I'm not surprised. Don't mean I'd ever go back again. No. That's what scares me about dentists is how much it costs. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the scary part. Where's yeah. your dentist, local? Yeah, do you know you know in Strood, but Northcote Road, that little one on the oh, bed? Oh, okay, yeah, that's interesting for people <laughs> in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> is it a man or a woman? Woman, she's lovely. Yeah, mine's a woman. She's really, really. Is it nice. the one your mum used to go to? No. Oh, because mine's the one your mum used to go to. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah I mean, it don't bother me at all. Anything that bothers me is the paying for it. Because I think it's too expensive for what it is. I wonder why it's so expensive. I don't know. I bet if you, if, I mean, if you had a couple and say the husband was a vet and the wife was a dentist, there'd be coin in yeah. it, wouldn't they? I need to expensive. find a vet. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Or a yeah. Yeah, Paulie, what time is it? Oh, it's question time. Question time. Go on, kick one out. Oh. You can have the honour. Okie dokie, I've got one. Oh, I just thought of something. Why did... it? Go on. Am I allowed to say this? Yeah, go on, you that makes it sound a bit stupid. But well done to Jane, who listens to us. She um, got promoted, didn't she? She did. Yeah, yeah. well done, Jane. Well done, yeah. Jane. Yeah, I've done, I've, yeah. in it doesn't surprise me, you know. She's clever, isn't she? She seems as if she's very. Have you ever clever. listened to her podcast? Yeah, with Laurie. Yeah. yeah, they're funny. It's funny, isn't it? But yeah, she seems a very clever woman. I think one of the funniest things I've ever heard on a podcast was one of their episodes, and they were doing their. I think they were doing their fears. And, was it fears or a worse job? And when Laurie said about the clown. Oh, you told me about it. Yeah. You said you've got to listen to it. It's hilarious. <laughs> it was for jobs they wouldn't want to do. Oh, that's Laurie right. Says, yeah, yeah. Laurie says, I wouldn't want to be a clown. <laughs> it was yeah, so it was funny. funny. Yeah, but I just thought that was good that she got promoted. I always remember the Christmas story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Where they used to go to one of the grandparents. Yeah. Like, yeah. Weird. Anyway, what's the I wouldn't question? want to go up against Jane on Family Fortune. Oh, well, that's their chance. <laughs> I don't, yeah, bit I, of paper. I don't understand the question. Should <laughs> I read it then? No, I'll read it, but oh, you tell me if you understand it, it. It's got long words in it. No. Oh. oh. It's got four words in it. Okay. okay. You ready? Yeah. Cowboy or reverse cowboy? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit iffy. That's the one Mike was yes. sitting there right in the other it's day. Michael That's Mike. very rude. Yeah, we'll Shall I pick that. another one? Yeah. I think that'd be a good idea, son. He'd be laughing his head off. Yeah. He gutted he weren't near for that. Yeah, well, it's your own fault. It turned up. <laughs> right, OK. Sticky paper. Oh, God. Oh. Is this one worse? No, it's only four words again, though. Oh, really? <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah. This could get right, very deep. Right, you ready? Huh? That's only three words. <laughs> it is. Is there a God? <gasps> is there a God? Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> is there a God, Pauline? So confused. <laughs> I really am. Because I want to believe that there is. And my heart tries to believe there is. And I do like to think that mum and other family members, I won't name them all, but they are all together. That's a different thing, though, isn't it? No, but... That's not yeah, saying... No, that's but not, that's life after death. Yeah, but, is like, there part, a, yeah, but it's all of part it. of it, isn't it? Because yeah, no, they go, no. they go well, to where believe, God no, is. Yeah, if you believe in God. Heaven. If heaven. You, yeah. No. Heaven's, God's, in, God's in charge of heaven, hell and purgatory. Yeah, you right. listen to too many strange people, aren't you? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking what about? What does life after death got to do with God? I don't understand. All right, then, Dave, is there a God? No. Is that... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is straight no that explanation. You don't think there's a higher power? My heart likes to think that there is. No, I think this is it. This, this oh, you is think it. when you die, that's it? Yeah. Gone. Well, probably, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, but, um... Do come back and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I mean, the thought of God is absolutely ludicrous. I like to think there's something, or I'm going like to think... come back as something else. I don't yeah. believe in any of it, but there's a hope in my head that thinks, 
Right, well, maybe so in my next life I'm going to come back as a cat and I'm going to live a life of sleeping. Oh, so it goes wrong, yeah. oh, he's, he works in mysterious ways, I mean. Oh, I like mm. to think it's true. I, I God's, you, God's everywhere, I mean. You weren't brought yeah. up as a, in a religion no, at all, was you? No, I wasn't you Well, I had... Um, you were dedicated to the Salvation I mean, Army. I was, and... Uh, we had an RE in school. Well, I think I went to Sunday school. I went to Sunday school. I was a kid school. for a little while, not long. I think it was only when we stand at my me, aunt's on a Saturday we went there a couple of times, but I just found the whole thing ludicrous. Don't sometimes, though, if, like, I can find it a bit comforting that there is a God. Well, that's I mean, what, it's all, that's what, what it's all about. That's why he was invented, isn't it? Was he invented? Was invented? Oh, of yeah, of course he was. I remember Dad, I, me and Dad had a long chat about this. This is quite a while ago. And Dad don't believe in none of it, absolutely nothing. Mm. Once you're dead, you're dead. That's it, done. And he went to me, all right then, what do you remember about before you were born? And I said, well, nothing. Well, it's the same then. Once you're dead, if you won't, once you're dead, that's it. Nothing. I said, but you weren't created then. So I wouldn't remember nothing before I was born because I hadn't been created. But you might have been an ant in a previous life and you wouldn't remember. Probably it. better than this life I've had. <laughs> <laughs> but can't there be an afterlife without God? I mean, no, God is all about the whole you're thing. Just, you're just listening to religious mumbo jumbo. I mean, there might be a scientific reason why we go on, you know. This is part of the journey. It's got nothing to do with so, God, has it? So, so, if there's ever anything bad happening in your life, if you think back, have you never, ever, ever once Pride in your mind said, gone, oh, please, yeah, God, well, let it be all right? Was, when I was about six. Yeah, but so why what, did you do since? it? You must have done it since. No. I've, I've bartered with God. Please, God, if you make sure that's all right, then I'll do whatever. So I hate, you know, what weird things that will go through your mind. I think God was invented by man. It's like a fairy story. Oh, I think I don't think caught on then, didn't it? Look at it now. Oh yeah, good, didn't it, just? But I, I can't believe I don't. I like... can't believe that nuns and priests don't, without any proof, just blind faith, just waste their lives. Just but to them, they're not but it's not wasting their lives. No. I mean, well, to them, they're not wasting their life no. one bit. That was what their and life was supposed to be. They're so sure. Yeah, they've had the Wouldn't calling. You... What? I mean, how can they explain that? Suppose I mean, I, I, so you can't disprove that God doesn't exist. No. But you can't prove he exists either. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think man, man invented God because he couldn't handle dying. Yeah, but if man... I think, I think they, there's rather campfire, you know... Sometime after prehistoric times, and someone become what, and somebody aware just of their made mortality. A story yeah, that's gone on to what yeah, it is probably, today. probably a child. I say, couldn't understand. Yeah, you know, couldn't. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, but when you die, you don't really die. You go to this place, you know, heaven. And I think it just grew and grew and grew. No, it wouldn't grow like. Of course that. it would. Oh, you're joking, isn't you? What about sun, sun gods and. Idols. I mean, what are they, I mean, you got half the world sort of like Christian and Catholic sort of thing, yeah. who believe in God yeah. and that and the other. And you got half the what, all the Asians, they believe in reincarnation. So one oh. half wrong. So why can't both halves be wrong? Well, why is there? Why? Why isn't there just one God? So they can't all be right, can they? Well, no. So therefore, none of them might be right. Yeah, but. I like to think that at least one of them's got it right. Yeah, but, there's one but, right somewhere. Someone, yeah. <laughs> but didn't heaven sound boring? Oh, I don't know. If it's got well, a bar, I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah it won't have a bar, though, will it? Oh, heaven will. Oh, you're on your clown. But heaven, no, but heaven Burg- it might be just like we are now, but well, this could be a it. spirit. Yeah, We uh, could be in hell now. We are. <gasps> dun, we must dun, be. Dun. It can't be this bad for no reason. <laughs> I'm making my life sound really miserable, yeah. and it's not. <laughs> Well, I mean, I was brought up a Catholic and I never questioned it until I got older and thought, why do, well, Dave asked me some questions like, why do you do that? And I couldn't answer them. 
Well, don't blame me. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no what you done my... to her? <laughs> He made me think. I didn't know any different. You don't. He made you child, question it. He made me question it, and um, my mum was very unhappy with you me. You didn't, you didn't like going to church. I hated you. going to church. Absolutely. So it's not like I said, "Oh, you're not." No, going no, no. Anymore. I hated it because I wanted to be with you on a Sunday morning, not in church, while you were sitting back at my house. Waiting for me to come uh, back. I don't know. I just, I just so it's Susie goes to church. She's Catholic, and she gets real comfort. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. people yeah. do. I'm yeah. like, I understand that. I'm fine if that's if that. But don't you find you. it a bit odd when you see them at sort of like doing carols in the street at Christmas, and they got this expression on their face? Like, what happiness? <laughs> no, it's like they. It's like being in a cult. They're sort you of, yeah, you know, they've got the old tambourine and they're, they're I too... I always think how happy they they're are. They're too yeah. happy, you know, ask me. Well, what's wrong with that? I'll I'd rather be too happy love. than too sad. I, I'll tell you what I do love, a gospel choir. I want to oh, yeah, no, be part of it. Oh, I want to be up with them. <laughs> yeah, but a church is a great building of architecture, and they don't make God real, does it? Because man made them church, he didn't make any of them. Did he? <sighs> Did he? Dave, you're annoying me. <laughs> I think you should believe in God because you don't know what. Because you don't, you might not come with me and Jackie when we go. <laughs> yeah, I will, because he's all forgiving. You give me apparently. The... I don't he, think he'll forgive he all, you. He's all forgiving. <laughs> yeah, he's on. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> Quite a deep question. Oh my isn't God! Who wrote that? I bet. I bet it's Bob. <laughs> it looks like. Let me have a look at the writing. I'm going to have a look. He probably would have wanted to be in on that one. No, it's yours. Oh, it's it? your writing. Oh. Yeah, it is my writing. Oh. Maybe there is a God after Yeah, it. see? God was he telling made me you to write, write that. it. He did. Well, that got a bit deep, didn't yeah, it? I like yeah. to think that there is a God. Sorry for all of you out there that believe. <laughs> we, don't, we don't. I'm jealous not, because I wish yeah. I had, like. Do you think there is, though? If you had to put your life on it. Suppose you say you're going to die right now and if you get this question wrong, is there a God? Yeah, I think I'd say yes. Oh, see you later then. <laughs> <laughs> what would yeah. you say, Jack? I'd be really torn. I like to think that there is. I do like to think that there is. And I must admit that I do go to that and I do sort of pray inwardly when, yeah, I do. you know, people are not well. When you need or, to, yeah. It's yeah. a bit perverse, but I just wonder if um, you get all these nuns, like, you know, praying 15 hours a day or whatever they do, and... Uh, they was all sitting around having their dinner one night and someone walked in and goes, I see God don't exist, didn't they? they proved it. You know, oh, no. you get oh, some old nun, you know, 77 years old. He's been married yeah, to that him I can since prove, I proved that God 15. don't exist. He puts, proves in front of him that God doesn't exist. Can you imagine? They wouldn't believe. They would think it was a test. <laughs> yeah, they they would, would think it yeah, was a test and you've got to... You've get got, through it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look at your uh, Eureka. Sister Ulrika. I'll get it right in a minute. We just finished watching Tenko, sorry. <laughs> Have you seen Tenko? No, I've never seen oh, Tenko. Yeah, I know Mum used to watch it and Dad when we were yeah, kids, but right. I never watched it. Bow, bow. Mrs. 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 Jefferson. Me. It was oh, it really... means nothing to me. <laughs> oh, Chris, that song, Chris used to sing that when he was free. Oh, Vienna. <laughs> He'll be so time. pleased you've shared that with oh, us. Yeah, <laughs> Mid you have still got the ump that you didn't get the number one because shut up your face was it? I love one. that shut up your face. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> awful. Well, lots of people must have it went to number one. No, I don't mean nothing, does it? There's been some terrible number ones over the years. Yeah. Remember Cinderella Rockefeller by S.D. and Abby O'Farrell? You're the lady, yeah. you're the lady that I love. I'm, I'm the lady, the lady who. It's rubbish. You're Never the fella. Heard of that in my life. Lily, Lily the Pink. Oh, ding, 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 Point. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, where did yeah. that come from? In so, do you want to borrow a tank? How you can watch it? It's really good. Thing is, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, if I look to see if I've it got might a DVD be too old. It's probably somewhere. too old for you. Ain't got a DVD player. I don't. I think we took it to the tip. 
Mm. Which is stupid because I've still got DVDs. Or I'm sh- uh, something's in my mind saying, thinking Lewis said, no, don't throw this away because there might be a film you want to watch one day. And I think he's put it somewhere. It's all too... Mm. They are mm. getting old at now, aren't they? DVD yeah. Players. I've still got... We've still we've, got ears. We've watched a lot of old... We watched a whole lot of Sherlock Holmes, didn't we? We watched... Yeah, we, look out, um, uh, we watched uh, Duchess of Duke Street. Street was that, another one. Your mum probably watched that as well. We like delving back into the old ones that don't come up on telly. You do find them ones. All creatures great and small. We've seen every series of that. Every episode. There's always he's always got his hand up a cow's (laughs) every time. (laughs) (laughs) Or they're pulling the sheep out of a baby sheep out of a sheep. Whenever you watch a farm program, they used to be that one on Channel Four. They've always having to do that or cut his. Oh. oh, yeah, oh, the, yeah, nut. yeah. Oh, the, the nuttage. Yeah. <laughs> Hamlet's had that done. Yeah. Oh. I'll talk him to her. Didn't want no babies. That's why Meow's no. in a high pitched voice. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he does. does. Well. He's yeah. <laughs> he, he, he meows more like a mouse than a cat, really. Oh. Yeah. Apart from when he's in the car. Oh, yeah. We like took him you. to the vet recently. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, mm. Oh. Mom. It's like he's crying. It is. Mum. <laughs> it's the first time he did it. It was like, what? what Where did that come from? Mum. Oh. <laughs> and it was like. That made me cry, that word. I know. No, I, I didn't like it sitting in the car. Oh, he did. Um, he, he, Bob. <laughs> why don't we, we cut him off to the old cat room when we go on holiday? He's going to love oh, that. Oh, yeah. God. I didn't even think about that. No. He's been put in the cattery once. And when I went to pick him up, he cried all the way there. He cried all the way back. And also the woman said, he's a very shy cat. He never came out. So yeah, they used to, they opened the door and let him have a run. He never came out. So he stayed in there for the he whole time he was in there the whole day. time he was away. It was only a week at the time. Mum put Rosie, that was our cat, in the cattery a couple of times. But when we'd come home, go and pick her up, she wouldn't acknowledge anyone for a no, good couple he's of old. days. Yeah. Oh, he, go. he was over it. Right. Over the cage, up he comes out and he's forgotten. But then he don't go near you anyway, does he? No, he, he really no, wants... he does with me. Yeah, he he's, don't he's go got near a bit, day. Since Bob's moved out, he's, I've become the... the uh, Sort of mother figure, I think. Well, Bob was the mother figure. Yeah, he was before. It's that beard, <laughs> same colour as him. Yeah. What? Diary. La 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 la. It's Tuesday, the twenty eighth of January, nineteen seventy five. Oh, it was a good year. Oh. Yeah, I was born. That's why it's a good year. Go to work. Drop RT Diff with Pete and Ginger. Drop what? RT Diff. It, that's a differential. Job. Oh. RT's a type of bus, a yeah. differential. Oh, right. uh, with Pete and Ginger. Feel a bit rough in work, but go go with a five bells dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> you felt that rough then. <laughs> Those were the days. Go to Turkish Bar for Greenwich with John Alden, then go to the pub with him and meet Jackie at eight thirty and Ooh. go oh, no, I don't I got the the pub with him, then later on, I meet Jackie at 8.30, go to the Saxon Tavern. This is a strange one. The Saxon Tavern's in Catford. Yeah. It's John Kay comes in just after 10pm. He gives me a lift home. What's he doing in the Saxon Tavern? How did Tavern? I get home then? Oh, I don't know about you. I left you in the <laughs> pub. <laughs> the, the taxi driver, uh, ta- the plan, 10 hour of taxi, <laughs> them days are gone, mate. And that's it. Oh. Oh. In Catford, hmm. that big cat. It's yes. been there years now. Well, Remember it was that? there that night. The big oh. cat, big black cat, and it big model. Yeah, people so, won't know what we're talking about. Will they? Mm. Well, the place called Catford in South London, they've got this big, enormous. Isn't it? It's absolutely hit like a. Well, it's it's made, a black of, made of wood. Don't know. It's it might huge. Be, no, it might be um, asbestosy. You know that fiberglass might be oh, some fiberglass. Because fiberglass. Yeah. it's been there for all weathers, isn't it? It would have been falling to bits if it was it something. It must have been there for 40, 50 years. Yeah. Well, I've, I've always known it to be there. Yeah. It's on the roof, isn't it? Well, it's. The, is down. It, I think there's a. a is it it's a, like an entrance to an art, you know, a shopping. Yeah, a shopping way. centre. And, and it's, it's all like sort of four out. Yeah. It's but it's absolutely huge, and it? it's not just it a little. I'd have it in my garden. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's time for us to um, put Lee Mac through three 0 oh, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, that's it. 
<laughs> Have we got a vote? What Come on, let's do it properly. Who are you voting, wifey? Who are you voting for? I'm going for surprisingly, and no, Lee Mack, <laughs> because he's a nice man and he's really funny. Oh, I'm the same, Lee Mack. Yeah. He's really funny. I'm hoping he'll go far. I mean, we haven't given uh, Andy Sandberg a real run. No, it's him, been unfair, really. He would have to go something to beat Lee Mack anyway. Yeah. I think most people would. Yeah, yeah. Lee Mack 3 now. Lee Mack. Lee Mack's as bad. I mean, um, bad. what's his name? Andy Sandberg. was as bad as Billy Connolly. <gasps> I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted your reaction. My you know, God. when you look at who's gone out, I think it's as strong as lineup as the ones that have gone through. It actually is. Yeah. Les Dawson, Frank Carson, Kathy Burke, Harry Enfield, Sasha Baron Cohen, Billy Connolly, and Jimmy Carr. That's yeah. pretty strong. Especially Kathy Burke. Loved oh, her. I love her. her. She but said about Billy... you here, wife. Yeah. She's not gone through. It's time to make the draw. Oh. Who you got? Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, right, keep okay. Is yours a good one, <gasps> wifey? Oh, mine's better than yours, um, I bet. No, I hope oh, not, God. because I like this. Oh, this is a really good one. I is your one, is it? Do you know your one's better than Pauline's? Yes. Do you know it your can't, it won't be. It, no, it will. Right, wifey, well, I said no, yours first. No, Pauline's got to Pauline's go first. Pauline's got to go first. I've got Lee Evans. Oh, well, who you got? Peter Kay. No! Oh, my <laughs> God! No! Pull them back, you're drawing Put again. <laughs> I can't be having that. So? <laughs> well. Oh, that's a bad one for me. A cracker, I reckon. I'll have to not be here. I'll have to be Bob, <laughs> Mike, and you. Two. It's time to um, Andy. Oh, never mind. Bye, bye, Andy. Bye. Sorry, bye, mate. Andy. See you later. Oh no, that's a hard one. Peter K and Lee Evans. Well, Billy. Well, do you want me to vote on it now? Because I might not be here on the day when you do it. <laughs> Oh, well, we no, probably actually, will. you will be. You probably will, will be. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to see what happens. Oh. Anything else, Pauline, before we... No, just I'm having Chinese tonight. What should what I What are you going to have? Well, I don't know. A bit of black bean sauce? Well, last ribs. time I had Chinese. A lot of rib, didn't you? Well, I never had rib. What? <gasps> no. Do you know what? I hardly ever have Chinese. Are you eating in or take away? I'll take away around my mates. Hardly ever eat Chinese. It's very it's fattening, you know. Well, yeah, but I uh, don't mind. It's weekend. It's weekend. It's weekend. Yeah. Yay. And um, last time I had Chinese, this is what I had. I know exactly what I had. I had uh, beef in black bean sauce, mm -hmm. some rice, some toast with the prawns on. Oh, yeah, sesame, that, toast, yeah. Yeah. sesame toast. Sesame um, toast. Sata a skewer with chicken on with peanut butter. Yep. Yes. Oh yeah, Sata. yeah, we've had those. Chicken I'm not keen on the peanut butter thing. Oh, but I love it. It's so mm. nice. I love it. Um, oh, chicken balls. Oh, well, I know they get personal. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a roll thing, crispy. Roll mop, crispy pancake roll. Yeah, and it was so nice. And then they so good, so good. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't eat it all, so we went, we went way too much. Did you have the rest of the breakfast following morning? Oh, no, I couldn't. Oh. I can't do that with can't do that for any takeaway. Lewis, if he buys himself a pizza and has an oh pizza, all, he yeah, can, yeah, no, yeah, can't yeah, do yeah, none, yeah, I can't do none of that. The next day job. Oh, okay. We're not big on pizza takeaway, are we? No, no. But hardly ever have Chinese, so I never know really. It's whoever I'm with will say, "Oh, I'll well, get this, get this, I get this." Do you not then, have chili beef? Well, it might have been chili beef. It was no. quite a kick to it. Was it? Was it like flat bits of beef or was it flat, like scurvy? dead flat? No, this is like, oh. it's quite dry but it's and it's crispy. Oh, that sounds quite it's nice. Really nice. Chili beef. But you'll be around your mates. You won't be able to have a drink of it, will you? No, I'm not having a drink oh. of it. I see, I couldn't have a Chinese without wine. Yeah, you couldn't have, a, you couldn't oh, have, a, no, couldn't couldn't have an Indian have without wine. having a beer. Sauvignon Blanc. I couldn't have wine with Chinese. Wine goes with roast dinner. That's and it. Chinese. No, it don't. White wine. That doesn't go at all. That the wine will give me heartburn, and that won't match the, with the Chinese. I can never understand when you go for a curry. Sometimes people have got a glass of red wine oh, with their curry. No, I thought, I couldn't. What that the, doesn't go. What the? Hell? Any wine. What about a glass of lassie? Oh, well, oh, she has weird with oh that. I yeah. love that last milkshake with your covering. No, it's not a milkshake. It's better than that. It's it's almost like the McDonald's milkshake where you have trouble sucking it up. Yeah, but the aren't straw. you full up before you? Well, it stops me having a pudding. That's what it oh, does. Yeah, it stops me wanting a, a pudding. And yeah, so the pudding liquidised before she has the curry. <laughs> I just love it, and it cools you down. If you if it's a little bit on the spicy side, which I don't mind a bit of spice, but it does sort of cool the mouth down. Curry has to, has to be lager. 
It has to be lager. Yes, yeah, too, too makes me wind assisted. I don't like it. And wine is <laughs> with a roast dinner. Do you drink red wine at all? No, I can't no. drink red wine. Well, I've never really given it a chance. I was surprised when I saw Chris drinking wine. Chris, uh, because, well, he started going back to Guinness because he'd Good come lad. off the whole gluten thing because he thought he was a bit dodgy. Yeah. But he's slowly introducing it. It's getting better. So he was drinking wine because that was the only thing that didn't give him a bad belly. Oh, right, I'm okay. sure he won't mind people telling me. No. <laughs> We've everyone. all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah, so that was the only drink that kept his stomach calm. So that's why he stayed with it. But... It's slowly going back to the Guinnesses and stuff. Oh, Guinness is great. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh it is. Oh, my my f- a girl at oh, work, Guinness. her son works in a supermarket and every week for the staff they have a little raffle. It's like ten p a ticket or something like that. Everybody, someone wins something. Well, I think for about three weeks on the trot, her son won it and he's about, I don't know how old he is, but he's not in his 30s. He's quite young. And, um, and he won... Alcohol, and it all it had Guinness in it. It had lots of beer. She's moaning because it's got no wine in it, and that's what she drinks. Oh. So he's come home with you know I've won it three weeks on the trot, but there's loads of Guinness in it. So she said, "Do you want the Guinness for it? Yeah. Oh, so I bought it home, and I've been drinking it. So it's, it's full of iron. What do you mean you've been it? drinking it? You drunk it? I did. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> did I drunk it? It is no more. <laughs> drunk it all. I really enjoyed it. I, I, d- I don't like can't it. drink it by the pint. I have to have it in a smaller glass. But it, it's it well, is good I went to the you. Guinness factory in Dublin, didn't I? And I thought that looks so, such a nice drink. It really looks nice. I'm going to really. It is nice. Go. Oh, and I took a big gulp, thinking, <laughs> "Oh, it's going to be so nice." <laughs> it's just this bitter. Ugh. Do you remember the ad- Mac- you remember Mackerson? No. Do you remember the advert? Remember the advert for Mackerson? Yeah, I remember it. Yes, it's, what's the catchphrase thing then? Mackerson, oh, it was there and it's gone. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, tastes, tastes good, good, and by, by golly, it does, does you good. good. Yeah. But it is good for you, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah. not even, well, it's all stout, Not after seven all pints, I don't well, think no, so. Well, maybe you are. <laughs> well, I think it's time uh, for you, dude, to sort of rake it in a bit and let me get a word in edgeways oh, here. Mm, go on then, off you go. I've talked a lot. They're, I've not spoken on them for such a long time. Yeah, you know. I've said, <laughs> <laughs> said a lot this time. Have you right. get one thing else to say before we go? No, I'm anything done. else? Anything else, wifey? Um, no. No. <laughs> right, I think we're through then. We'll see you next time for Peter Kay oh, versus no. Lee Evans. That's going to be a Can't whopper. Can't wait for Bob to know that. Battle one. of the Giants. Okay, see you later. Bye, Bye folks. Bye. Bye.